So hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Lucy and today I have a different video for you all because I'm not talking about books. I am kind of talking about books. Now I think about it. I'm going to be discussing all the movie news that has just happened in the last like week or so. So basically I'll be discussing number one, Throne of Glass is getting its own TV show. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how epic that will be? Okay. Number two, the Allegiant trailer has just dropped. I haven't seen it yet. So I will be giving you guys my reaction and I hope it's good. I had issues with the second film, but I'll go into that later. Number three, there has been a Mockingjay trailer released, which I also haven't seen. So let's do all the reactions in one video. Okay, so number one, Throne of Glass. Can we just take a second? I have been waiting for this moment for so long because I've always felt that the Throne of Glass series just lends itself so well to TV. Also, can I point out that this is TV, not film, which means that we'll get so much more character development, we'll get so much more world building, and hopefully we'll get the option of quite a few series, so they would be able to do like all of the books without an issue, I'm hoping. Okay, so let's go into fan casting for Throne of Glass. I think it'll be really hard to cast Selena because no matter what they do, all the fans have this idea of Selena in their heads, at least I know I do. And I don't think that like there's an actress that is around right now who I can say yes that is Selena without doubt. I always picture her like this obviously from the covers and she has this kind of white gold hair and she has to be really menacing but beautiful. So I'm going to talk through some options who I think might be a good chat for Selena. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and no doubt we'll have lots of discussions on who would make the best Selena. Number one, maybe Chloe Moretz. I've seen quite a lot of fan casting for Chloe as Selena, and I think she might be able to like look the part. I think that's probably quite a good shout. Um, she's probably young enough to play Selena. And then I've got another option, which would be I think her name's Eliza Taylor, but she's in the 100 and she plays the incredible main character on that, and she's just really, really badass. My only issue with Eliza as Selena would be that. She kind of looks more like harsh in the face, that sounds really weird. And also maybe it's the fact that I've only seen her in the 100 where it's like kind of really cutthroat, it's bloody all the time, she's dirty like in every single scene. And maybe I can't picture her as this like really live assassin. But still, I think she, like, in my mind, can kind of fit that role. So it would be interesting to see what type of actress they go for to play Selena. Of course, it's only been optioned for TV, so I think development and production is a long way off. And in terms of Kale, I can imagine Kale be played by an actor who's not pretty looking, but is quite ruggedly attractive. And maybe this is just in my head, maybe I'm just spouting whatever I imagined on the page. And for Dorian, it would have to be someone who's quite pretty looking, more kind of handsome and quite delicate looking. I can imagine him with like really dark hair and quite different from Kale, obviously. Also, I'd recommend looking at Sarah J Maas's Pinterest boards because she pins quite a lot of character drawings and things. And that's why I've kind of gotten all these images in my head of what the character should look like. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Do leave who you would cast in the Throne of Glass TV show down below in the comments. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on this brilliant news and as you can tell I'm very excited. So let's move on to the other piece of movie news which was the Allegiant trailer. I haven't seen it yet so I'm going to watch it now and I will let you guys know what I think of it. The only way our society can survive is for each of you. Okay, replay of the Divergent clips. Oh, shy with long hair. Four. Oh god, that stupid house levitating scene. I hate it. Okay, let me pause it. What is that ridiculous scene where they're running up the wall? Like, what? Oh, I like her longer hair though. We have to. There's no turning back. And the world beyond the wall looks like Mars. Why are they all in space costumes? Chris, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. You saved a city. 
Help me save the world. Well, okay, that was interesting. I didn't expect the world beyond the wall to look like that. I thought it looked a little bit too like, this is gonna sound stupid, but futuristic. And that was not what I pictured in my head. Like, why is the world red? I don't really get it. Did I miss this part of the book? That was interesting. I do like Shirley Woodley's longer hair. I think it looks a lot more flattering than that cut she had in Insurgent. Um, yeah, what was that? And yeah, it looks interesting, but we didn't really get a lot. So we got kind of a recap of the first two films. Um, I adored the first film, by the way. Um, the second film, as I have probably said in a few videos, it was disappointing. Hopefully it won't be as far-fetched as the second film. Please just stay true to the book, which I'm kind of confused by the whole red planet scene. So can you let me know down in the comments if that is actually in the book, if the world is described as being that red? I don't know why this is bothering me so much, it just is. Okay, so now we're going to be watching The Hunger Games Part 2, Mockingjay Part 2, for Prim trailer it's called. So I'm really excited about this, mainly because Hunger Games, yes. It's okay, you're just dreaming. You're dreaming. Been in there once, don't Well, this is emotional. Well, this is really emotional. If you know what happens in the last book, then this is kind of difficult. This is a really weird trailer, can I just say? Oh no, this is making me well up. This isn't fair, Hunger Games. Don't do this to me. Okay, that was an interesting trailer. Is it over yet? Yeah, it's over. Um, um, was that like an official trailer? Yeah, it was. That was a confusing trailer because basically there was Katniss in the background of the entire thing, like, I mean, like Mock and Jay Katniss, like badass Katniss. And then it was playing clips of all the other movies and it was surrounded on Prim, which for obvious reasons is emotional. I am definitely like shouting at this camera now because I feel that was a bit of a emotional trailer am i the only one no so that trailer was interesting because it was obviously like a catch-up type of thing one of the reasons why katniss was in this whole situation in the first place was because of prim and yeah i don't know that trailer was very emotional but it didn't really tell me a lot of things um and i just want like a proper like trailer with all the footage in it which i know will probably come a bit later but anyway that was emotional. I am unstable right now. Let me know your thoughts on that trailer down in the comments below. Um, spoiler free, obviously. So guys, those have been the little bits of movie news that I've been interested in this week. Um, let me know your thoughts on those two trailers and what you think of the Throne of Glass TV news because life equals made now. I am happy and I need this TV show. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time in my next video. Goodbye.